There is no rule that applies to dressing after you've had a baby. There's none, there's not one. You can wear what you want. <laughs> And I feel like I have to say that to you guys because sometimes it can feel like there's some kind of unwritten rule around what you have to dress like once you become a mum. So in today's video, I wanted to give you guys a few tips, a few style secrets about how to stay stylish after pregnancy. So I'm a new mum of twins <laughs> and I also do have a toddler. I am though also a very style conscious person. I do like to dress well, I do enjoy fashion. My first time round with having a baby, I definitely, I didn't struggle, but I did have a few things that I had to navigate <laughs> to kind of understand what exactly it is that I needed to do. This time round with my twin pregnancy, I definitely feel as though I have got on a bit of a hang of how to keep hold of myself whilst navigating being a mum to a new baby or babies <laughs> and dealing with sleep deprivation and you know everything that comes with pregnancy and having a baby so the first thing that I would say is important is to keep your essence if you are somebody who would not wear florals for example before you got pregnant then there's absolutely no reason why you have to wear a floral muumuu after you after you have your baby it doesn't mean that you can't wear comfortable things or you can't adjust your style to accommodate things like breastfeeding and things like that but if there was a way that you presented yourself before you got pregnant or before you had your baby do not feel pressure to ditch that approach that you had to style in yourself just because you've become a mum so of course most of us do have to deal with things like weight gain changes in our body but i definitely think that there are ways that you can do that while keeping your your essence but i do think that holding on to your essence can become difficult if it's not done intentionally just because you know the whirlwind that is newborn life or that is motherhood or parenthood can kind of sweep you away and then you kind of forget and so to avoid that which I would always encourage you guys to do would be to make an intentional effort to hold on to the things that you like. If you're somebody who wore loads of jewellery, then there's no reason why you can't wear, within reason of course, wear loads of jewellery before. I think for me, because I breast, because I breastfed all three of my babies, the adjustment that I have to make is that I need access to my boobs. <laughs> So I'm always looking for things that kind of have some way that I can, you know, pull out a boob com comfortably and discreetly to feed my baby. But I definitely try to think of what I would usually want to wear and, and then adjust. <laughs> and it might sound strange that I'm giving you guys permission, but sometimes I feel like we almost need somebody to tell us that it's okay. So first tip that I have is to be kind to yourself. If you guys are watching this video, then I'm gonna guess that you guys are interested in staying fashionable after pregnancy, but guys, pregnancy is very hard. <laughs> and it takes some time to grow a baby and it will take some time to you know get back to 100% yourself after having a baby that is completely normal however I do feel as though keeping hold of some of you all of the time throughout your pregnancy and after your pregnancy really has a positive effect on your mental health and I do think that it's important to be the best you you can be and that helps you to be the best mum or parent that you can be so taking care of yourself is really really important there will be some parts of your postpartum journey where you're just trying to make it through if you are in that stage of your journey and i do have a free download of affirmations that, that i use during my twin pregnancy to keep my mind in the right place if so do feel free to check that out i will put links to it down in the description below so my next tip is to make adjustments to things you have throughout your pregnancy you may have bought some maternity clothes or in my case i bought quite a few like stretchy tops i don't tend to buy too many maternity clothes because i do like to buy things that i can use throughout my pregnancy and postpartum which is what i let the first time around so i do I, whilst I'm pregnant, I do buy quite a lot of stretchy tops and leggings and cardigans, things that are kind of open at the front. Or if it's summertime, then I'll buy strapless things that I can kind of like pull down and, you know, give access to my boobs and things like that. So if you guys have anything 
that you were wearing before you got pregnant and whilst you were pregnant then I would suggest doing a review of those things go into your cupboard have a look try things on sometimes it can be dishear a bit disheartening to try on things and they don't fit and you're you know reminiscing about when they did fit and all of that kind of stuff but what I would suggest is you just go into the task prepared <laughs> so knowing that some things are not going to fit because you've just given birth to a baby or you know you recently had a baby and that's okay but there will be some things in your cupboard that still fit so i do genuinely wear quite a few long line tops so my long line tops that i may have worn whilst i was pregnant to kind of cover my bump i'm also able to wear whilst my stomach is going down the cl and then the clothes that i have from before I was pregnant, anything that is stretchy, anything that is oversized, I will try on again. But overall, I would suggest having a look in your cupboard, assessing, trying everything on, pulling out things that work for you. And that will also help you to keep hold of your essence as well. Next tip might sound a bit obvious, but for me, it is something that I struggled with. So I'm gonna to talk to you guys like I'm, like I'm talking to myself. And the tip that I have, is to focus on your personal grooming and accessories. So my personal grooming, I struggled with because, and I still do now actually sometimes, because when I'm very, very tired, all I wanna do is make sure that I'm clean. If I'm clean and you know, I'm fresh, my teeth are brushed and everything else, and I kind of throw everything else to the wayside. I put my hair up in a bun, put a t-shirt on, put on some jogging bottoms, and I'm ready to go. And sometimes just taking a bit of extra effort to, you know, put on some eyeliner, put on some mascara, some gel in your hair, or if you, you've got a wig, then, you know, brush your wig, put a little clip in it, or add a few curls the night before you go to bed, or if you've got braids, just make sure they're moisturized. I will say that if you are somebody who you're like me <laughs> and you struggle with these extra additional things then getting things like braids before you give birth uh, or plaiting your hair down or finding a style that is just really super easy will really help you with this because I do experience quite bad postpartum shedding after I give birth and I have this time around and that is probably the only reason why I don't have braids in right now because I would do and my twins are about eight months now. If your hair's already done then all you need to do is put on your moisturizer, you know put on if you want a bit of foundation or a bit of concealer, do a bit of mascara, put on some earrings, put on your rings <laughs> and I don't have mine on today but you know put on, put on your rings. I found for me that it really helped me to feel better as well and although like I would look in the mirror and I still do now sometimes I look in the mirror and think like who's that? <laughs> when I can see a little bit of myself still in there, I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, she's still there. I find that overall, it takes a little while to get like 100% back. But as long as I can see like a little glimmer of myself, then I know that all isn't lost and, it, and I'm gonna get there eventually. So now eight, like eight, nine months postpartum, I st I, I'm, I'm not 100% there. I, I, I'd say I'd put, I'm maybe 60% there. But dressing well, taking care of my personal grooming, you know, trying to spend some time on me really, really has helped me this time get there quicker. I know that personal grooming in particular can take a bit of time because this also includes like pamper yourself in the shower, put on a face mask, you know, moisturize yourself, so take some time to pluck your eyebrows or take out, take out that little extra <laughs> chin hair, you know, do all of that kind of stuff. It can take time. But if you can find somebody who can hold baby for like 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes at a push, I'd say 15 minutes, I can get it all done. Maybe not 15 minutes, maybe 20, 20, 25 minutes and I can get it done. So all you need every day is just somebody to watch baby for 20, 25 mi minutes. If you don't have anyone, wait for baby to be asleep. If you can establish a really good morning routine that includes you taking care of yourself, then do that. If you can't, then whenever in the day that it is quiet, get in the shower, take care of yourself, put a bit of makeup on and put on some accessories. My next tip is to buy things that you can transition from early postpartum to late postpartum. So for me, when I've just given birth, I'm probably about maybe up to like 80 pounds heavier than I will be maybe a year or two later. So what I try to do is buy things that kind of move with my weight. 
<laughs> so I do tend to be drawn to stretchy dresses. A, a stretchy tube bodycon dress can take you from pregnancy to postpartum to when you've lost your postpartum body weight. And bodycon dresses might not be your thing. It might not be something that you that you wear in general. But as I've mentioned, what you're going to do is think about ways that you can adapt things so that it still leans towards your personal style. So for me, I wouldn't necessarily wear like a bodycon dress with nothing else, especially after I've just given birth. But I will wear a bodycon dress and put on like a nice cardigan on top of it or a nice jumper over it, probably a cardigan so I can have access to the boobs. And I will pick up like a midi, a midi medaxi length because I prefer that length. I'm putting a nice pair of boots if it's winter or a nice pair of sandals if it's summer and a crossbody bag or the nappy bag <laughs> or a crossbody bag and a nappy bag in the pram. That's another tip actually guys. Carry a handbag. Carry a handbag. It can be really easy to just carry the baby's bag but there's nothing wrong with getting a nice crossbody bag or a nice small bag that you can put your essentials in, put your phone, your purse and some lipstick in. And what I found is if you've got a little bag like that, then, then if you ever need your hands free, you can put it across your body or you can slide it into the baby's bag. So any kind of small bag that fits with your personal style, please carry it, please wear it, buy one, and carry it <laughs> and wear it and invest in some things if you haven't already that will move your with your body whilst you whilst your body changes and my next tip is don't be afraid to buy bigger sizes i know <laughs> It can be difficult for some of us to swallow that our size might have gone up. You might feel, which is what I feel like a lot of the time, like I'm gonna lose the weight, so why am I buying clothes in this size? I'm not gonna stay this size for very long. And I feel like it's okay to be like that. If you're somebody who does wanna lose all your baby weight quite quickly, or you wanna do it within a reasonable amount of time, and you don't think, you know, within a year or so, you feel like you're not gonna be the size that you are anymore, you don't wanna buy those clothes then the way that I've kind of broken it down for myself to make it a bit more digestible is for everyday wear, I will do my best to buy things that I, that will adjust to me because I definitely am somebody who thinks that you should, you know, buy things that you're going to wear. And I definitely don't like buying things that I'm going to wear once and it's just going to sit there and, and I'm never going to wear it again. So everyday wear, I will do my best to use the adjustments that I've made to my current wardrobe and invest in a few, not super expensive, maybe more affordable, stretchy dresses and things like that. But again, if it's an occasion, if it's my birthday, if it's a wedding, if it's a baby shower, a funeral, a brunch, somebody else's birthday, then I will buy something that is tailored for my, for my size. And the way that I break it down to myself is, especially if, especially when I was feeling as though I might have more children, then these are outfits that you can wear the next time you're pregnant and the next time you give birth. You know, our weight goes up and down for all types of reasons. There may be a time where you put on a bit of extra weight and you're gonna have it to wear. Um, it is something that you can wear also if you get pregnant and again during the early stages of your pregnancy when you put, start putting in a bit of weight. So I would invest in more tailored pieces, pieces that maybe are a bit more expensive that definitely are you and speak to your personal style I definitely think it's worth investing in even though it might be a bit difficult to do and it might be a hard pull up, a hard pill to swallow also for occasions don't fit don't be afraid of contacting your tailor getting something a bit bigger and going to a tailor and getting them to fit it no matter what your size is after you've given birth it is always worth it to get a nice well-fitting outfit i'm hoping that this video will speak to somebody <laughs> and will definitely help you guys and give you guys some ideas on how to stay stylish after pregnancy Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you guys and I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.